حي الشباب العاملين خير الكتائب اجمعين من شيدوا صرح الرشاد ليرفعوا لله دين حي الشباب العاملين خير الكتائب اجمعين من شيدوا صرح الرشاد ليرفعوا لله دين من قد ابوا الا الصلاه من مصلحين لا يعملوا اي غايه الا صلاه المسلمين من قد ابوا الا الصلاه بديته من مصلح لا يعملون لغاية إلا فلاح المسلمين لا يعملون لغاية إلا فلاح المسلمين جاء الملابس سالة بيضاء من وحي الأمين ودعوا إلى السير القويم على غرار السالفين جاء الملابس سالة بيضاء من وحي الأمين ودعوا إلى السير القويم على غرار السالفين قسم له المجد فاق مجد الخالد ومشى الركاب بذكرهم ندا على مر السنين قسما لهم مجد اقر فاق مجد الخالد ومشى الركاب بذكرهم ندا على مر السنين بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد In the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, indeed our praise and gratitude be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As such, we ask Allah Azawajal to send His peace and blessing upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, upon his entire family, his noble companion, and those who follow him in his footsteps to the day of judgment and back. Brother and sister, I'd like to welcome you to the Plain Truth TV. I'm your host, Abu Muhammad Ali Al Ansari. I'd like to welcome you with Islamic greeting. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa maghfiratun. I hope you in good iman and good health. Welcome to our show tonight, which is advice, reminder, a warning, and glad tidings. We advise Muslims concerned about different situations. We remind Muslims concerned about the obligation that Allah and His Messenger has made obligatory upon us. We warn Muslims against anything that is detrimental to the deen, the akhirah, and the hereafter and their worldly life. And lastly, we give glad tidings and encourage Muslims to do these that is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have a great reward in hereafter. Today, our glad tidings is concerned by the first 10 days of the month of Zul Hijjah to encourage Muslims to do as many righteous deeds as possible for them to do in this blessed 10 days of Zul Hijjah, which is coming right up. Am I the great season of worship or the first 10 days of Zul Hijjah, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favor over other days. Alhamdulillah. So what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say about Zul Hijjah? If we look on Surah Al-Fajr, chapter 89, verse 1 to 5, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ba'ad a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim, bismillahi rahman rahim, wal-fajr, wala ya'alil i'i, wala ya'alil ashir, wal-shaf'i wal-witr. والليل إذا يشر هل فيه ذلك قسم للذكر؟ so the meaning which can be translated as by the dawn break and by the ten nights and by the even and the odds and the night that it proceeds is there in this an oath for any rational person? the the um the tafsir of this the commentary on this by Ibn Abbas Ibn al Zubay al Mujahid, among of the earlier and later generations, said this referred to the 10 days of Zul Hijjah. Ibn Kathir said this is the most correct view. Alhamdulillah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praised the 10 days, took oath about those 10 days. Now, if we look in the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what, Allah, what the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said concerning about this. 10 days and the virtues of these 10 days subhanallah it will really make us to it will really encourage us to do a lot of righteous deeds if we look in the hadith of ibn abbas rajala anhu report the prophet sallallahu said no good deeds are better than that which is done in the first 10 days of zul hijjah and some of the companion asked the messenger of allah sallallahu said not even jihad in the way of allah and the Prophet said, not even jihad in the way of Allah, except for a man who goes out with his life and wealth at the risk and return with nothing. This is reported by Sayyid al-Bukhari. Subhanallah al-Azim. This shows that the encouragement that we should perform a lot of beautiful 
a lot of righteous deeds in this blessed month for there is no reward greater in any days except the except the the first 10 days of Zulhijjah. So this is encouragement that we should strive hard to do as many good deeds that we can do. And a similar hadith reported by different narrated narrator is Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anhu reported that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, There is no deed that is better in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or more greatly rewarded than a good deed done in the first 10 days of Zulhijjah al ad and he was and he was asked, not even jihad in the fisabilillah and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, not even jihad fisabilillah unless man goes out for himself for jihad taking his wife for him and does not come back with anything. This is reported by Dirami. Subhanallah It's a similar hadith with just different change of narration. This emphasizes about the deeds done in the Zulhijjah, the first ten day of Zulhijjah is greater in comparable to other day except the night of Laylatul Qadr. If we look in the hadith of also Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu anhu who reported that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said during one of during his farewell sermon which month do you believe has the greatest sanctity? They said this month of our Zulhijjah subhanallah that the greatest the greatest month which has the greatest sanctity is Zulhijjah, this month of Zulhijjah. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Which city do you believe has the greatest sanctity? They said, The city of ours, Mecca. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Which day do you believe has the greatest sanctity? And they said, This day of ours, Arafah. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Verily Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has made sacred your life, your wealth, your honor, except by the right of justice. Just as your day, your city, and your month is sacred, I haven't, have have high now conveyed the message and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said three times and they said yes and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said be aware do not turn to disbelief after me by striking the neck of each other this is reported by Sayyid Al-Bukhari SubhanAllah al -Azim. so one of the greatest days one of the greatest month is Zulhijjah the sanctity of one of the greatest month is Zulhijjah and the blessed the greatest sanctity or the greatest city is the mecca and the greatest days is arafah subhanallah alazim so we should this is show us encouragement that we should strive hard to do as many gracious deeds in this blessed 10 days of zulhijjah if we also look in the hadith of ibn umar radiallahu anhu who reported the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said there are no days greater and more beloved to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than these 10 days of zulhijjah so increase in them your declaration of the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to heal your exaltation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takbir and your praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takmeen this is reported by Musna Ahmed subhanallah lazim the Prophet said there are, no, there are no day greater and more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the 10 days the first 10 days of Zulhijjah so he encouraged us to do pray to do um declaration of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by saying la ilaha illallah by saying Allahu Akbar and by saying alhamdulillah so this is encouragement that we should do this in this blessed 10 days of Zulhijjah what are things that we can do basically in this blessed 10 days of Zulhijjah number one fasting it is, it is Sunnah, highly recommended for Muslims to fast on the first nine days of Zulhijjah because the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encouraged us to do righteous deed in the first ten days of Zulhijjah. And fasting is one of the greatest, is one of the best deeds which Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has chosen for himself. As he says in Adis Qursi, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said, All deeds of the son of Adam are for him except fasting. Which is for me and I shall reward it. This is reported by Sayyid Al Bukhari. Subhanallah alazim. So, one of the things that we can do in this blessed first 10 days of Zulhijjah is to fast. Another idea is in which the Prophet Sallallahu used to fast the first the first nine days of Zulhijjah was reported by Yuhayda, reported, Yuhayda ibn Khalik, reported from the 
from his wife that one of the wives of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to fast on the first nine days of Zulhijjah and the day of Arafah and three days of each month and the first Monday of the month and two Thursday. This is reported by Nasahi Asuna uh, Ibn Asuna Ibn Abu Dawood classified Sahi according to Sheikh Al Bani. Subhanallah Lazim. So we see it is from the Sunnah highly recommended act to perform um, to fast in the first nine days of Zulhijjah as you reported in this hadith. And another thing we can do is being takmil, taklid, and takbir of a great reward in this blessed 10 days of Zulhijjah. It is highly recommended to recite takbir saying that Allahu Akbar, Allah is the most great. Allah is the greatest. Takmin by saying that Alhamdulillah and taklid by saying that La ilaha illallah. There is no deity that is deserved to be worshipped except Allah by saying taksbir, tasbi, which is which is saying Subhanallah during the first ten days of Zulhijjah, saying these words Allah in Masjid, house, street, every place where it is permissible to remember Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and to perform this act of worship openly and proclaim the greatness of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So number two is encouraged to say the praise and gratitude praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to sanctify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and men should recite it Allah and women should recite it quietly and we look in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about um, saying glorification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in surah to Hajj chapter 22 verse 28 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says لِيَشْهَدُوا مَنَافِعَ لَهُمْ وَيَذْكُرُوا اسْمَ اللَّهِ وَيَذْكُرُوا اسْمَ اللَّهِ فِي أَيَّامٍ مَعْلُومَاتٍ عَلَى مَا رَزَقَهُمْ مِنْ بَهِيمَةِ الْأَنْعَامِ فَكُلُوا مِنْهَا وَأَطْعِمُوا الْبَائِسَ الْفَقِيرِ And proclaim the Hajj to people. And the meaning which can be translated as they may witness their things that will benefit of them reward of Hajj and hereafter also some worthy gain from trade and mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the appointed day over the beast of cattle that he has provided you for sacrifice. Subhanallah lazim. So in this blessed uh, blessed ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that we should mention his name, praise him in this appointed day. The majority of the of you is that the appointed day or the first ten days of Zulhijjah because you reported by Ibn Abbas that the prophet Ibn Abbas that who who said that the the appointed days or the first ten days of Zulhijjah. So this is encouragement to seek to glorify and praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much. He also was narrated by Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhu who reported that there are no days no that is greater before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or in which good deeds are more beloved to him than the first 10 days. So recite the taklid, takbir and takmin during these days. This is reported by Ahmed. Subhanallah lazim. So this encouragement to also glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The takbir or as follow. We can say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi ilhamd. This is a way, one way to say it. With the meaning which can be is, a, which can be is, Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest, there is no deity that deserves to be worshipped as him. Allah is the greatest. And all praise and gratitude be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now the scholars differ concerning by different form of takbir. The first view it is that there it is said that it says Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillah ilham. This is one way that we can say. Which means that Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest, there is no deity deserved to be worshipped except Allah. Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest, and all praise and gratitude to be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second form, the second view is that it is, we say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, 
walillahilhamd. So this is the second way that we can say, which means that Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. There is no deity that deserves to be worshipped except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. And all praise and gratitude to be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The third view is that we say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar wa ilham. So the meaning which can be translated as Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. There is no deity that deserves to be worshipped except Allah. And Allah is the greatest. And all praise and gratitude to be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah lazim. The matter is broader in scope because there is no text narrated from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which specify a particular form of takbir. So based on these view that we can pick whichever is easy for us now timing what is the time for takbira to for saying takbira or divide in two category takbira at any time this takbira meaning glorification is not limited to any specific time it is highly recommended to say all the time morning evening before prayer after prayer all the time the takbira a specific a certain time this takbira that is limited to the time immediately after the prayer it is highly recommended that we recite takbira glorification of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anytime during the first 10 days of zulhijjah all days of takrif starting from the beginning of the month of zulhijjah from the sunset to the last day of zulqada until the end of the Takhrin, which is when the sun rises on the 13 days of Zulhijjah. Subhanallah al-Azim. Now, if we look at it, if we look at our time that we're living right now, Takbirat, glorification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has become forsaken sunnah, way of of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, especially in the time that we're living right now. At the beginning, especially at the beginning of these 10 days, you can hardly hear from anyone except from few people. It should be recite Allah so that to revive the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and remind the healers. It was proven that Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu and Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu who used to go out to the marketplace during the first 10 days of Zul Hijjah and recite Takbira, glorification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the people who recite the Takbira when they hear them and the people who remember the Takbira each will recite it by himself. It does not mean that they recite in union, meaning glow for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together. That is not prescribed in a sharia. Revive the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that has been forgetting of a great deal of reward. As it is in dedicate, as, as, it is report, as it is reported by the words of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where he says, Whoever revive one of my sunnah that has died after I'm gone will have a reward that of it. For that of for anyone who does it without a detection from the reward in the slightest. This is reported by affirmity. This is Hassan. Subhanallah. So it's a way to revive the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by declaring takbira and glorification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Third thing that we can do, we can perform Hajj and Umrah in this blessed 10 days of uh, Zulhijjah. One of the greatest deeds that can be done during these first 10 days is Hajj to Bait Allah, the sacred house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whoever, whomever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps to go to Hajj to his house and do the ritual that is recommended in a well manner, inshallah, that include the words of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, where he said, eh, Accept it, bless it, Hajj bring no reward in paradise. It is reported by Bukhari and Muslims. So it is, it is highly recommended to do Hajj or Umrah in this blessed uh, 10 days. Of, in the first 10 days of Zul Hijjah. Also, the last thing that we can do is uh, sacrifice, to sacrifice camel, to sacrifice sheep, to, uh, to sacrifice goat, whatever your cable will of. One of the righteous deeds that bring a person closer to Allah in these first 10 days is to slaughter and the sacrifice and to look for good and fat animal and to spend money for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we should hesitate to make most of these blessed 10 days. So these are things that we can do in this first 10 days of Zul Hijjah. It is highly recommended to do as many righteous deeds that is possible. Give charity, 
do as many grasses did that you can do in this first 10 days. For this is the opportunity, brother and sister, that we need to take advantage of. It comes once in a year, brother and sister, so let us take advantage of it, brother and sister. So whatever good that you heard, it is indeed by the grace and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His guidance. Whatever error and mistake that you heard, it is indeed from me and shaitan. Allah, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive me for my sin, to forgive all of us and guide all of us and make our best deed, our last deed and protect us from shirk, kuf, bira, aram, major sin and hypocrisy and make us to die on tawheed, inshallah. So we'll conclude here, subhanaka wa bihamdihi asharan la ila anta wa astaghfiruka wa atubu ilay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. أي الشباب العاملين خير الكتائب أجمعين من شيدوا صرح الرشاد ليرفعوا لله دين أي الشباب العاملين خير الكتائب أجمعين من شيدوا صرح الرشاد ليرفعوا لله دين من قد أبوا إلا الصلاة من مصلحين لا يعملون لغاية إلا صلاة المسلمين من قد أبوا إلا الصلاة